How's it going, everybody? It's Gorilla Man here, back with another Car Mechanic Sim 2021 video. And we're going to be continuing to work on our Boss 429 Mustang here. I looked at you guys' last comments, and I asked you guys what you guys want me to do for the color. And then we are going to do a color change here to start it off. Uh, we're actually going to be swapping to what this looks like. The icon picture. See if I can do that. Ooh, okay. Oh. These are the only factory colors you have marked. Um, let me get off pearl. What's solid look like? Mm, metallic probably be the best. Maybe not. Loss. Okay. Let me look. It's not too bad. Maybe if I adjust the color a little bit. Let's see. Hmm. And we'll leave it there. Uh, library. We do have library options, I believe. Okay, so there is the one. That's boss 302. Where's the 429? We've gone through these options. Boss 429. Oh, I think that's the only 429 ones I have. Unless there's a marking on the back here. Oh, I do like the single stripe down the sides. There is a lot of library colors. Oh, here's 16. Ah, 16 gives you the mock option. Hmm, is there a black side one? Oh, okay. Okay. I could just throw the Mach 1 decal on it. No, we'll, we'll do that. I know it doesn't have, like, all the stuff that a Mach 1 has. Because it does have the uh, 429 boss. It doesn't have anything in it right now, but... Come on. But it could... Yeah, we're going to do the Cobra Jet 429. Ooh, or an SS, but SS would be Chevy. Small block through two. That's all right. We'll just, we'll, we'll keep it how we have it. All righty. Pop that. Let's see. How are we looking on the engine bay? Looks like I'm missing a lot. I got all of the suspension, redone, brakes, all that good to go. Everything should be ready to roll with those. Uh, I'm also going to need some intercoolers. Interesting. And a radiator. So let's grab some intercooler. Oh, wait. I think you can get a performance intercooler. And we need a small one. Roger, got that. Go in here. A reservoir. A power steering. And which coolant one do I need? Do I need a coolant reservoir, or are they just going to use the radiator? You know, I think... I think we're just going to use the radiator. And shields. Radiator C. We'll have a fan on the front of the motor. That'll cool this rad. Oh. Let's get this up in the air so I can get the intercooler in the front. I don't have the motor ready yet, but... We're prepping the uh, engine bay for it. Cooler. Windshield washer I gotta open from the engine bay, of course. Uh, cannot get all the way up there. There we go. Power steering it. Alright. Alright, next thing's up. Let me think. We got to get the motor done. All right, so I'm going to go work on a 429 boss motor. I think there was one in here. I already pulled it out. Uh, it should be in here somewhere. Yep, right here. I'm going to go... Oh, ooh, that's only worth two grand. I'm going to go work on that, get it back up, get the performance parts and everything added onto it, and I'll see you guys back here with that one ready to go. All right, here we are with the motor fully kitted out, ready to go. Uh, the color scheme is a little weird because it does have that full, like... 70s blue uh, Ford motor, but then it also has silver, chrome, black, and red for all the performance parts, but that's all right. 
get this thing dropped back in. I think we're shooting for about 700 horsepower on this as well, so that'll be pretty good if I could hit that. Okay, where are my fill, oil fill plug? Oh, I cannot see anything, so I'm gonna be pouring in the dark here. I think I'm doing good. There we are. So now that I got everything else, I think I'll just fill up all the all the fluids here. No coolant today, though. I think. So I gotta make sure I get the suspension, or not the suspension, the exhaust redone. Uh, can I fill? Okay, you do fill up this radiator. There's that one, and... Oop, can I get the windshield washer? There we go. Not necessary, but we'll add it. If this was a drag strip car, I probably wouldn't fill it up, but... Extra weight. Alrighty, I think we're good on the top end, except for there's one thing in there I needed to cap off. But let's figure out what I want to do for this. So this is just a V8. I got two of those performance. I didn't realize that. Okay, get the original starter back in. It's fully repaired. Drive shaft. I think I had one. Yep. All right, what are we doing for this? So, front exhaust pipe C, V8 overhead valve. All right, let's see if I can find that. C, V8 overhead valve. Nice. We have two middle mufflers that I'm not sure what the rear needs. Rear muffler V8, all right. Not B8, I said V8. Where you at? There we go, two of those. Check. Middle muffler out of here. Put the new ones in. All right, is that all the parts? How am I doing on total completion? 96 on the body. I'm missing like one thing. A couple things in here. What are we missing exactly? I think there's a fuse box I'm missing. Yep, all the fuse box. And the fuel tank. Aha. Did not recognize that one. Pick up a new fuel tank. Pretty sure I already have a couple filters in the back, so I'm not too worried about picking one up right now. Or fuel pumps. Yep, got two of them. All right, looks like we can lower this thing down to the ground now. Engine open. Let's get this fuse box pulled apart. And then do I have a bottom? I do have a good This thing has got a decent amount of fuses in it. Did I just put in two bad fuses? Nope, those are 100. So I need type C's. All right, let's go pick up some new fuses. Or relays, I mean. Relay type C. We'll grab 10 of them. I use, I think, five for this. Five per fuse box A, so that's quite a bit. Right, cover back on now let's check and see how i am so car parts two and three are the last things i need to solve let's slide this out to the front of the shop so i can really get into it all right i feel like it's got to be in here car part Body window, no. Maybe it's engine bay. I'm missing one of them. Body, 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 rear clamshell. Anything pop up when I'm looking at it like this? 
Nope. We go from this side, so I'm gonna see whatever I'm missing. Nope. It's gotta be a engine cover. I just thought easiest way to tell. We go in here and look for the car part. Oh, it's hood. I see it. There it is. Sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. And then part three. Car part two. One. Let's see what car part three is. Part three. Ah, it's all the trim. Okay, okay. Uh, get you back inside, don't you? Underneath the rough sun on that new paint. Uh, I don't want this on, actually. There we go. So it was the chrome. I could have. I think I bought that actually. So I don't know how I messed that up. Okay, there we go. Now we're almost there. I got one thing in here that's... Oh, I put the wrong outer tie rod on. Back to 100% restored, 100% condition. Love that, love that. 150000 for this. This thing is worth a nice chunk of change nowadays. That is great to see. Uh, wheel alignment is not hot. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, there we go. Let's get this to the dyno. I think I got to get that carburetor tuned. And then we can run on the dyno and see what she puts up. I think it's 307 or 370 stock. All right. So it looks like I only have to tune one carb. Uh, this one's not too hard, though. Look at that. It's that easy. Only 3%, though. Not that, not that great to only get 3%. Uh, we're gonna get this thing into a six speed now that I got the extra. Uh, let me see, is that gearing? So we can get to okay. Oh, did I not apply? I didn't. 217 to 240. There we go. Okay, that should work. Apply it. All right, I think we're, I think we're good to go. 375. Uh, fingers crossed, we get an 85% gain. There wasn't too many performance parts I was able to add into this thing, so 85% gain wouldn't be too bad. I want to top that 700 mark for sure. What? No, I didn't even get it past 650. 74% gain. Oh, this 429 motor was not good. What happened? I mean, don't be wrong, 650 or 649 now, it's, it's like, that's good. That's a lot of horsepower. Yeah, but for what I could have put into it, I could have gotten a lot more out of it good one with the supercharged motor oh dang that that's a that's a bummer that's a letdown but that's all right the car still looks really 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 good uh but we're gonna end it there guys hope you guys enjoyed that episode it was just mainly getting the car buttoned up and put back together i think it looks really good i think the yellow looks really good uh someone also said like a darker red I think that would be really, really clean as well with the uh, with the black livery on here. But hey, that's for that's for you to that's for you guys to decide. Uh, but in the next episode, I'm going to be doing another Ford, an older Ford as well. So hopefully you guys uh, stay tuned for that one. And thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.